Wednesday. Happy Hump Day Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am wearing today, let me just start off with that since I'm adjusting myself, is my um, Caladium jumpsuit um, that I made in collaboration with Myra from One So Sweet and the Simplicity Tank, which I've since taken in since that review. Um, but yeah, that's what I am wearing today. And so welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell on your way out. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. That helps. It lets other people see the content and it pops up as recommended videos, all that good stuff. So it is hot. Um, and so I decided because I had one into the office today. So funny, total sidebar. Had to go into the office today um, because even though we've been working from home since, as you all know, I've mentioned this probably last year, we've been working from home since last year in February, late February, we've been working from home. And so it was this kind of, oh, will, will we go back in the office, will we not, and then time passed and then a survey went out from our ceo everybody was like no we don't want to come back into the office and then so <laughs> then it was you know you didn't hear anything else and i'm just gonna dab because it is hot i just came in and so um then uh maybe a month ago they have made it official official we are all work from home yay a hundred percent of the time no more ambiguity nothing and so what they're doing is transforming our office space into uh, workspaces uh, collaboration spaces a few offices larger lunchroom and stuff like that only for when teams certain teams need to collaborate together or if say our team goes in and need to collaborate on the thing or two but yeah so they'll be starting construction so they said everybody had to come in and get all of their stuff out they had us come in by teams and so our team went in today and um you know they provided lunch and we chit chatted and got all our stuff together which i really didn't have anything because i got probably 90 percent of everything out of the office my mom's shirts and everything last year so i only had just some knickknacks um sitting in the drawer so anyway i was like you know what since you know I feel like I'm looking cute. I'm going to come on in here and uh, record. I think I'm going to record two videos. I'm going to stay on and record that one um, as well, which is my Sew Together for Summer um, dress. But anyway, let me come on in with this review, y'all. This is a good, 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 good one. I pattern tested for Cosido Design Studios. You all know I, I actually enjoy pattern testing for her. Um, it's a great process, and um, she takes everybody's... Um, um comments and everything into consideration and making updates to the pattern and instructions or whatever it is that we may have mentioned before and i'm gonna make this quick because i am melting and then i really do want to go ahead and do that one but what is it and also if you missed my video on sunday um and you can't go back that was just my q a and then it was a diy how to create your sewing mood board and canvas so go watch that but um you already know there is a discount code for this pattern it is the anak dress and it's by cosido design studios in my subscribers you all get a 25 percent discount using um the code snd25 i'll put that on the screen i'll also put it in the description box down below and when i tell you this is a good one to get because one it, there is no um there are no closures no fastenings um it's just a chuck over your head um uh, garment and it has so so many options styling options and if i did not mention it um the Anak dress is named after this supermodel, Anak Yai, maybe her name. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that is who the dress is named after. And so let me just, I, I wanted to, had to grab the pattern real quick. But you will notice that there are a total of five, or is it six? There's a total of, let me count real quick. One, two, three, four five six is it six or seven a couple of might have been combined um now um based on some of the feedback but this is one that you can really have a lot 
a fun with um you have the option it is it's a dress it has you don't have to worry about um darts or anything it is all princess seams which gives you better um, opportunities for fitting because you have the princess seams that are down the front as well as in the back and when i say it is a really really easy make especially if you did the version that i did is really easy even if you decide to do the the ruffles or the flounce that's built into the shoulder seams um or into um where you see where it, like from here down um you can do that um or you can do from kind of right under here the um armpit that's what i'm trying to say down um and you can have sleeves or this could be sleeveless and so initially i had so many ideas on, on what i wanted to do uh with it but i decided to go with um um the initially I was gonna do the sleeveless but I decided to go with the sleeves but I said you know what I'm gonna do a puff sleeve um, and puff sleeve is not one of the options but I just decided with one of the hemp with the um, sleeve hem to add elastic just to make it a little bit more of a puff sleeve and I'll pop up pictures in a quick video and you probably saw it last week I had the I did post a picture on there um, this the sizing just so you all know this sizing is magnificent that's another reason why I do enjoy testing for Casito because she does go up to um, a nice nice size range she actually goes up to let me just read that part to you okay um, I had to go ahead and go back and grab the uh, turn to the measurement page so her sizing actually goes from an a0 up to a d8 and so what that means is she goes from a size a bus size of 31 and a half inches and she goes all the way up to a bus size of 61 and 3 8 inches and the hip goes up to a 65 and 3 8 inches and so there is yeah uh awesome 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 size range and so um sorry i'm fanning myself and so it is really really nice so my measurements i'm five seven and my measurements are um full bust at the time i made this because i made this in may early was it early may yeah early may um so at the time my measurements were 46 full bust 39 waist and 48 hip and so I decided to go with a size C0 which is um, a C0 is 47 and a quarter um, inch uh, bust waist 40 and a half and the hip 51 and 1 eighths and so um, it is a 5 8 seam allowance and there are a couple areas where you do three eighths um, for the facing because it does have facing pieces um and so uh real easy and of course i always do my my facing um trick and i'll show you that so far as instructions very easy instructions and so let me just tell you what she did different this is again why i love testing for her so because the dress comes with so many options in the original um, testing um, pages, the instructions were categorized in a different way, but now she has recategorized um, the sizing, uh, I'm sorry, the um, the views to view A, here are all the instructions, and then there's another uh, section, view B, instead of, because the dress is the same, but you're just adding different components. So instead of, here's how you put the dress together, but turn the page this to do view view a and turn to this page to do view b no she just did here's view a all the instructions here's view b all of the instructions so it'll be easier to follow and so for me um you all know i send my patterns to pdf plotting and this was no exception um so it did go to pdf plotting um i like that because i'm able to trace um it off when necessary now when i'm testing because we end up getting the final file um i did send it to pdf plotting but i cut the original um, those pieces what I will say again this is a really um, easy dress It's not labeled as I want to say I didn't see at least in our initial instructions if this was labeled as beginner advanced beginner or something like that I will categorize it as very believe it or not beginner friendly because again you are just having princess seams you have the facing pieces 
you can get comfortable with a dress like this and what might make it um, a little bit more more than just beginner friendly is the fact that you have the ruffle or the flounce that you can add in which is not hard it is not hard at all her instructions are phenomenal and again because you don't have to worry about any um um zipper closures or anything like that you are good to go and of course the dress does have pocket pieces i did not have um add uh pockets to mine um for this particular uh dress i do i I plan to make another one. I absolutely do. I just want to put that out there. Um, I'm actually considering if, if I can find the fabric. I think I've seen a couple. I'm thinking about doing this for um, uh, Juliet uh, Tazor and I forget the other um, Instagrammer. They're doing Ankara Week in July. That would be awesome. But anyway, so I'm going to show you my dress and then pop up some pictures. What else do I want to say? Time to put this together. Give yourself two three hours it's an easy one especially if you find that you end up needing an easy um dress for a quick lunch out or something like that very easy you can do that and you can mix and match and um do different things with the dress which is what i absolutely love and so here is my dress you all seen it and that i decided to do in this patchwork denim when i saw it i was like i know exactly what fabric i'm using because i had some left over from um what did i make i made the uh noodle head it was a free bag I don't remember the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. But you'll see in the pictures that I show you that this dress matches that handbag I made. I think that was the first handbag I made. It was free two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, it was by Noodle Head. No, no, noodle Head? Noodle? Ooh, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I put I'll put that on the screen but anyway so I had some scraps left over but here's the thing I didn't have enough for I didn't I, I was maybe short a yard or something like that so I went back um, and let me tell you I've had this patchwork denim fabric in my stash a good four years yeah because by the time I did that denim purse I think I had the fabric in my stash for at least a year and so it's been two three years since I made that handbag and so um thank goodness that uh Joanne Fabric still carry this right um so I will try to link to it um at Joanne's if I can find it online I should be able to um because every time I've gone I've seen it um so but anyway here it is you cannot see the princess seams in this um which is fine for me because um I like it like that what I did do and I think I'm just gonna have to wash it um, I ran a line of stitching at the bottom because I want the bottom to be frayed and um, I tried the fraying you know how you stitch across and then you kind of tug at the uh, threads or whatever and it wasn't working out as much and I don't know because here's the wrong side of the fabric see the fabric is all literally patched together literally that's how it comes on the boat and so some um areas where it was surged like that um it was you know it's not it's not gonna fray in that area and so i think i'm just gonna have to wash it and i've worn it once so have i worn it how many times i've worn this once i think so i think i'm gonna wear it another time and then i'm gonna throw it in the wash and um see if that helps with the fraying fraying it even more because i tried if you guys have any ideas aside from snipping all the way around i have not done that if i need to do that let me know but yeah um i've watched videos before where that's all they did was do the stitching all the way around and then pull the thread and then it worked that way but that didn't work so um let me know maybe i need to clip in there but it does have a small facing piece as you can see and um I did have I do have my BHM pattern designer label in there and these are available on my website so naturaldang.com if you are interested a couple have three different color um, ways of that but yeah you can order that but the facing I did my usual thing in um, I attached them um, right sides together and then folded it under and then put it down and then I use heat bond 
to heat it, heat bond it to the main part of the dress so it doesn't flap. So that's what I do. And I still stitch them um, in the corners. And so, yeah, it is hot. So let me hurry up with this. Um, but I love it. I love how comfortable it is. This is dresses like this and because i want to do it in a different type of fabric this is a denim when i do it in the um ankara you know that's 100 percent cotton so even more breathable but yeah i ac absolutely love it and here what i did with the sleeves and i just measured how um around my arm how tight i wanted the the elastic to be and that's how i did the sleeves that's it very simple dress easy breezy chuck on over your head easy to sew up um not a lot of time to put this together and so yeah i highly recommend it and of course with the 25 percent off discount code that expires on june 30th you definitely want to pick this up i think it's a beautiful summer dress make sure that you are following the hashtag and go over to casito studio designs um instagram i will leave a link to her instagram as well as of course the website and where you get the pattern um um, in the description box, but I absolutely love it. And it was such a pleasure with um, testing for Vanessa again. That's the owner of Casito. Um, and so, yeah, everybody, that is my review. I absolutely love it. And you see how hot it's getting? My glass is steaming up. But um, <laughs> anyway, everybody, um, that is it. That's all I have today. I am going to fan myself down real quick and then go, go ahead and record that sundress as well so if you have any questions definitely let me know but again i highly suggest it and i definitely suggest you go pick this one up thank you everybody so much for tuning in today again if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i will see you on sunday bye